In this video, we are going to talk about top three high frequency statistics problem which are observed in past few years of J main. So these three problems are likely to be there in your upcoming J attempt. Okay, all right. So let's start with the very first type over here, which wherein two observations are missing. So these type of problems is quite basic and quite popular in your J main uh, previous year question papers where two observations are missing. So let me show you with the help of 2024 problem. So this question was asked in J main 2024, which says that the median and the mean deviation about median of these seven observations. So these are the seven observations wherein A and B are missing. So median of these seven observation is given as 170 and mean deviation about the median is given as 205 by 7 and what we need to figure out is mean deviation about the mean of these seven observations. So eventually we need to figure out either sum of these two observations or individual value of these two observations, right? So how do we solve such problems? Let us have a look. So first of all, median is given as 170. What is median? Median is nothing but so you have to arrange all seven observation in increasing order and whichever lies in the middle that will be your median. So seven observations that means that fourth position is occupied by 170 and before 170 I'll be having three values after 170 I'll be having three values. So if I talk about 230, 230 will be on the right side of 170 because it is bigger. We are uh, arranging in increasing order. Then 190 will also be here on the right, right hand side and 210 will also be here. So these three observations will lie after 170 if we uh, arrange in increasing order. But this will be in the middle. And first three observations will be smaller than 170. So 125 will be lying on the left hand side and A and B both will lie should lie on the left hand side because we don't have any other option left because we want 170 to be the middle term that is the fourth term that is that means it is very much clear that a and b both are less than 170 okay so this is what we have concluded from the very first uh very first uh, i would say uh, uh, given information that median is 170 okay this that this is it that a and b both are lesser than 170 what about next mean deviation about median now median is 170 so how to calculate mean deviation about any quantity is so 170 so we need to actually uh, calculate the difference of 170 and the individual observation so suppose 170 and 125 so we need to subtract this this is our very first observation plus 170 minus a then 170 minus b then 170 minus 170 170 minus 190 but we need to figure out the positive values so basically mean deviation about median may we have to calculate deviation of each and every observation about the median so 170 minus 125 170 minus a 170 minus b so these are the deviation then 170 minus 170 will be 0 then one, then 230 minus 170 the positive uh, values uh, is what we are considering so that's why 170 minus a will be positive a is lesser than that 190 minus 170 210 minus 170 add all these deviations from the median divide by 7 it will give you 205 by 7 if you cancel out 7 and 7 so that means the sum total will be 205. So over here, this is 170 minus A, 170 minus B. So this will be A plus B. So basically 170 minus 125 is 45. Then we have 170, 170, we have 340 minus A plus B. Then we have 60, then we have 20, then we have 40 and this will be 205. If you solve it, you're going to get A plus B is equals to 300. I hope that till now it is clear. Now what's next? We need to figure out the mean deviation about the mean. So same process we need to perform but this time about the mean, right? So for that mean we have to calculate because median power was already given to us but mean we have to calculate. So calculation of mean is pretty easy. Just add all those observations and divide by 7 and these two missing observations will be A plus B. That is known to us now 300. So now 170, 125, 230, 190, 210 
and a plus b if you add so this will be 300 if you add each and everything and divide by 7 you are going to get 175 okay so over here in this video we are focusing on the algorithm rather than the calculation okay so 175 is the mean now we need to calculate mean deviation about the mean so each and every observation we need to uh, calculate the deviation from 175. So 175 minus 170 is 5. Then we have 175 minus 125. Right or we can just uh, do it from here also. So this is plus 50. 175 and 230. So 25 plus 30 is 55. Okay. Only, only positive values please remember. 175 and 190 what's the difference? So difference is uh, 15. 175 and 210 so 25 plus 10 is 35 and now 175 and a right so deviation so 175 minus a and 175 minus b because both are less than 170 right so we need to add these two quantities the moment we add what do we get 175 plus 175 is 350 minus a plus b this is the deviation and a plus b is 300 right so this is 350 minus 300 so this is 50 50 plus 35 is 85 then we have 100 155 155 plus so 160 160 plus 50 will be equal to 210 so this is 210 so mean deviation about mean we need to divide by 7 so the answer will be clear cut 30 this was the question from J main 2024 this year january attempt okay so this was the first type wherein two observations are missing so sometimes individual observation we can calculate and sometimes some or uh, an equation uh, involving a and b we can calculate so this is the type one which you can see in 2023 2022 2021 and so on right these type of question now let us move on to the next type which is shifting of origin or change of scale. By looking at it, you must be thinking, what is this? Shifting of origin, ma'am, are we going to uh, study this like straight line and all? No, no, no. So over here, in this type of problem, what happens is, so there is a hint of it. So they will talk about the normal observation x1, x2, x3 and x10. And now they will talk about the, the, the updated observation. So in the observation, they either they have reduced something. So can you see alpha has been reduced or they can add also, right? Or they can multiply something with the observation like 3x1, 3x2, 3x3 or they can divide as well. So some subtraction or multiplication or division. So in this case, they have subtracted alpha and in this case, they have subtracted beta. So they have subtracted something from the observation and uh, they give some information about the original observation and they talk about the updated observation, okay? So let us first understand this question nicely. 10 observations are given to us in this question. X1, X2, X3, X4, X5, all the way up to X10. Such that sigma Xi minus alpha, that means now the new observations are X1 minus alpha, X2 minus alpha, X3 minus alpha, and so on X10 minus alpha. Some of all these observation is given to us, which is two. And sum of squares of xi minus beta observation is nothing but 40. Okay. Alpha and beta are positive integers. Now, mean and variance of the original observation is given to us. Original means mean and variance related to all these 10 observations is given to us. We need to figure out beta by alpha. Very easy question if you know this. Very, very easy question if you know this table. Let's understand this very easy table over here. So suppose you are having some observation xi, the original observation x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. Suppose we're talking about five observation. Five observations are there, okay? And the mean of those five observation will be sum total upon five x bar. Variance formula, you know that uh, sigma xi square by n minus mean square and standard deviation is sigma. Okay, so this is the original, the first row will is having the original values of mean variance and standard deviation. But what happens when you add something to each and every observation, if you add any constant k or you can subtract as well. So if you add any constant to all the observation, your mean will get changed. Your mean will also be uh, changed like the same. So if you have added k constant, 
so it will be original mean plus that constant k if you are subtracting you have to subtract it over here but a very interesting thing is that the variance and the standard deviation both never changes if you add anything to the observation or if you subtract anything to the observation it never changes okay all right but if you multiply anything to the observation mean will also get the multiplied with the original mean right so this is your new mean and variance changes this time so if you have multiplied alpha to each and every observation so your a uh, new variance will be alpha square sigma square so suppose somebody is saying x1 x2 and x5 these are the five observation mean is given to you as 7 now 3 x1 3 x2 and all the way up to 3 x5 so new mean x bar dash will be 7 3 are 21 what about the variance so if the variance sigma square was 9 so this time sigma new square will be the okay so will be 3 square into the original one okay so 3 square into 9 and if i talk about standard deviation that will be 3 into 9 okay so that's how it is now that you have understood this table nicely now let us it's, it's time to implement this okay let's do that so consider 10, 10 observations right so 10 observations so if i talk about the original mean x bar is given as 6 by 5 okay and the original variance is nothing but 84 by 25 let's establish that this fact okay now what they are doing is they are subtracting alpha from each and every observation so what will happen to the mean so my new mean if i talk about my new mean that will be 6 by 5 minus alpha my mean will also get subtracted right this is my new mean but from here actually i can calculate the mean sum of all the observation is given as 2 if i have to calculate the mean i have to divide by number of observation so 2 by 10 is nothing but x bar new this is my new mean so 2 by 10 is my new mean so 2 by 10 that is 1 by 5 is equals to 6 by 5 minus alpha and alpha from here will be 5 by 5 that is equals to 1 by the way alpha and beta are positive integers that means we are on right track alpha is coming out as 1 Okay, so alpha till now it is clear. We need to figure out beta by alpha. So beta is something which we need to figure out. Okay, all right. So now, can you see the variance of this is given as eighty four by twenty five? Okay, so we know what is the variance. Sigma square will be equals to sigma x i square by ten observation now, and this is mean square. This is your sigma square. That's how you calculate. Okay. now new new variance how to calculate new variance new vary variance with respect to this beta so new variance will be sigma xi minus beta ka whole square right whole square upon 10 observation minus sigma xi minus beta right this is a different mean xi minus beta upon 10 whole square because 10 observations right okay so this is your new variance and you know what what are you doing over here this is the original variance this is new variance so what is difference between these two the observations are subtracted uh, by the variable beta but you know what new variance and old variance does not get change these two are exactly equal so when you add or subtract anything to the observation your variance remains intact same this is what we have studied so new is nothing but the old one so this is 84 by 25 Sigma x i minus beta whole square is given as forty. This square is given as forty by ten, and this is the mean when beta is subtracted from each and every observation, right? So original mean was six by five, and if beta is subtracted from each and every observation, so mean will become x six by five minus beta. This is x bar when beta is subtracted. This is x bar when alpha is subtracted. So six by five minus beta we have to put over here. and this is the square and now very easy it's very easy to solve right so this is 4 and you just need to keep this 4 minus so basically 4 minus 84 by 25 is equals to 6 by 5 minus beta square so this is 100 minus 84 16 by 25 square is already there 16 by 25 is 4 by 5 
So six minus six by five minus beta. Let me just write it down over here. Six by five minus beta is either plus four by five or minus four by five. If it is plus four by five, then beta would be two by five. No, no, no. Beta and alpha both are positive integers, so that means this is rejected. If beta, if this is minus four by five, so this is ten by five is my beta. So beta will be two. So two is the correct answer. Beta is two. Alpha is one. So two by one will be the correct answer. This is the second type of question. I know that you have to do it on your own to just get hang of it, right? But this is the table is very important. Very easily you can solve the questions from this table. Okay, all right. So this was it. And now let us let us move on to incorrect or wrong observations. Okay, it is completely different from the missing type of observation, right? So incorrect or wrong observation means that they have done some calculation with some data, and then they figure out that oh, it was ten, and we we calculated with the help of the eight. Now we have to do the corrections, right? So these type of problems are quite popular in JE main, right? So. Again, let us understand this question. Again, asked in twenty twenty four J E main mean and standard deviation of fifteen observations. So mean is twelve and standard deviation sigma, not sigma square. Sigma is three. Now on rechecking it, they realize that uh, basically something somewhere twelve was there, but mistakenly mistakenly they read it as ten. So ten was incorrect value, which they have calculated, but original value was twelve. Okay, mu and sigma square denote the mean and variance of the correct observation. That means the updated value is denoted by mu and sigma square. And here we are looking for basically mean and sigma so that we can put the value. So first of all, let us understand that uh, originally, if I talk about sigma x i by fifteen is what twelve. This is how your mean is calculated. Right? Yes. So sigma x i clearly is twelve multiplied fifteen is one eighty. But now what has happened? You have added ten in this. Instead of ten, you have to add twelve. So you have to subtract ten from it and add twelve so that the sum becomes correct. So right hand side also you do the same thing minus ten plus twelve. Right? So basically sigma x i. Dash or new will be equals to one eighty plus two, right? And if I talk about the mean, so mean will be divided by fifteen divided by fifteen. This is your mu, the corrected mean. Okay, so simply what you did is so how to calculate mean? Sum of all observation upon total observation. Sum of all observation upon fifteen is twelve. Or uh, the in the beginning they are telling, but corrected observation. So you have. Uh, you initially you have added ten, so you are subtracting it, and instead of ten, you have to put plug in twelve. And now both sides you have to do. So this is your mu corrected mean. So corrected mean is found now. The whole question revolves around the sigma square, right? Sigma square. So sigma square clearly. Ah, uh, okay. So sigma square will be three square. That is nine. Okay, the old one. New one is sigma only. Okay, so this is nine. All right. So nine value of nine. How do you obtain sigma x i square upon fifteen minus original mean, the the old mean? So that is twelve ka square one forty four. So this is how they calculated the incorrect values. Okay. So now one forty four plus nine will be one fifty three into fifteen will give you sigma x i square. But the new the corrected corrected is sigma square. That will be equals to sigma x i square. And in sum total, let's do, just do the correction. So we are adding square of all the observations, right? So mistakenly you have added hundred, so you have to subtract hundred. Why hundred? Because ten. So ten ka square is hundred. And instead of hundred, you had to add twelve square. That is one forty four. So this is your uh, squares, uh, sum of squares, right? Whole upon you are having fifteen minus you are having. Mu, the updated mean that is mu square, right? Sigma square is this. Sigma square plus mu square. Mu square can be uh, called in the left hand side. So you are actually left with what? Sigma square plus mu square value directly you can calculate, which will be now sigma square value is what? One fifty three into fifteen plus forty four. 
सो वन फिफ्टी थ्री इंटू फिफ्टीन प्लस फोर्टी फोर बाय फिफ्टीन ओके एंड कैन यू सी दिस इज फिफ्टीन यू फिफ्टीन न्यू स्क्वायर प्लस सिग्मा स्क्वायर फिफ्टीन कैन बी एक्चुअली सेंट ओवर हेयर दिस इज फिफ्टीन एंड नाउ यू जस्ट नीड अ फिफ्टीन म्यू फिफ्टीन म्यू फिफ्टीन म्यू विल बी वन एटी टू सो यू जस्ट हैव टू एड फिफ्टीन म्यू फिफ्टीन म्यू वैल्यू इज वन एटी टू राइट सो दिस इज वन फिफ्टी थ्री इंटू फिफ्टीन सो वन फिफ्टी थ्री इंटू फिफ्टीन यू हैव टू फाइव थ्री इज फिफ्टीन फाइव सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड फाइव इंज फाइव एंड वन फिफ्टी थ्री सो फाइव नाइन एंड टू टू जीरो नाइन फाइव इज इट फाइव थ्री जो फिफ्टीन फाइव फाइव जो ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स टू कैरी फाइव वन जो फाइव सेवन सेवन प्लस सो टू टू नाइन फाइव टू टू नाइन फाइव प्लस फोर्टी फोर प्लस वन एटी टू सो यू आर गोइंग टू गेट वन नाइन प्लस टेन एटीन टू एंड टू थ्री टू फोर सो दिस इज सॉरी टू फाइव टू वन यस so 2521 is the correct answer of this particular question you just need to add these three values this this and this these three values if you add you are going to get 2521 as the final answer of this particular question so these were the three questions i want you all to practice all these three questions without looking at the solution on your own and one more information i would like to give is about vedantu learning center as you all know that vlc vedantu learning center is in your city now so you can figure out your place in this map and you can figure out that your nearest center over here if you are in tamil nadu or telangana or andhra or karnataka or anywhere ncr punjab jammu bihar anywhere in the india and what you have to do is you have to call on this number either call or you have to click on the link which is given in the description box to to just book your slot or to just inquire or rather you what you can do is you can just walk into the center and experience the amazing amazing experience okay so this is me namrata on this note signing off